Hi, Pagan Shooter here. Uh, I'm back finally and I've got a, another review of something that I'm pretty new to myself. Um, <clears throat> as you guys know, I, I do like to go shooting every once in a while. Well, this is a different kind of shooting from me. Uh, this is something that my wife was actually into and she kind of got me into it as well. Uh, and this is archery. Uh, this is an SAS Rage. Um, this is a 55 to 70 pound bow. Uh, I, being very new to this, have it adjusted way down. I don't have the uh, draw strength to uh, pull it at the full 70 pounds. I would like to get to that. Um, <laughs> it is not loaded, by the way. Um, <laughs> Uh, and I'll go over a few of the specs on this thing and uh, what it came with. Uh, but it's kind of interesting and I think this is, and I'm pretty new to this so I'm not going to be an authority on this. I'm just going to give you my perspective of this and uh, what I think of the quality of this bow. I have shot a few other ones including my wife's bow. Um, and I can say, I, I can definitely give you my opinion on this. So if, any of you out there that are uh, much more advanced in, in, with bows and hunting and stuff like that, bear with me. I'm probably not going to be the authority on this. You guys would probably know a little bit more on this than I would, but this is an interesting uh, purchase, I think. Um, but anyway, this is a 55 to 70 pound adjustable bow. Uh, it also has a draw length that's uh, 25 to 31 inches adjustable, uh, and I'll get into a little more on that one. Now, the basic comes with a two-post uh, sight that is a flat metal piece that came on it, or that comes with it, and it comes with a very uh, plasticky... Um, uh, folding down arrow rest. It, it's very cheaply made arrow rest. Uh, and the, the bow itself with a string. Now, it does come with a peep sight. Uh, the basic one does come with a peep, peep sight. Uh, and this one actually, uh, and it does have the, uh, I cannot n uh, remember what they call this piece, but it is uh, basically the uh, rubber tube that holds it and pulls it straight so you can look down through the peep sight. Uh, and it does not come with the piece that attaches to the uh, string. It actually has to be tied on like mine currently is. I went ahead and I got the uh, deluxe box which comes with a little bit more. Now the deluxe box did come with a lighted five post sight. Uh, if you turn it on, I don't know if you'll be able to see it in the lights here, but uh, you can see, let's get you, there we go. You can see it's kind of lit up and then it goes off. The Deluxe does come with a more advanced arrow rest, as you can see here. We'll get it to focus, as you can see there. And it comes with a front weight to uh, offset the weight of the pull of the bow and a wrist strap so you don't lose it. Um, one thing I noticed about this uh, is it did not come with the uh, peep sight. You'll see we've got it wrapped. My wife is actually pretty good at this. I'm trying to get it to focus for you. There we go. My wife is actually pretty good to it for this. Uh, she actually did this piece here with some embroidery string. Uh, if you don't, this piece will actually pull out as you're drawing the string back. Uh, so one thing that I suggest if you do purchase one of these is you do need to get yourself some embroidery string or some kind of thread to hold that in. Uh, there is a piece that they make that clamps on, a plastic piece that clamps on. I have found it at Gander Mountain. I'm going to purchase one and put it on here. It literally clamps onto this front string here. I do not know what that's called yet. I'm not that advanced. Uh, and it will hold the uh, peep sight right piece, this uh, tubing, so up against that a little better than just tying it off like this. I'm going to cut that off, but I believe I'm going to get one of those tie-on pieces as well. Uh, 
It like I said, it does come with the the string for the D loop, which I actually did this myself. I'm actually kind of proud. Of it. It's probably not the best job, but I'm actually kind of proud of it. I looked that up and did that myself, and I think it turned out pretty good. It might be a little too long, uh, but it comes with enough material that you can actually make this thing and over it and make it and just keep doing it over and over again. And it came with about two yards of that, so and I think it's a little too much. Um, so to adjust this down, uh, there's a screw here on the top and one on the bottom. Uh, you would unscrew them counterclockwise, uh, and that loosens it up. Now this bow was excessively hard to get it loose. Uh, when it when it came all the way tightened down. Uh, I ended up loosening this out. Each revolution is roughly about five pounds on uh, two and a half pounds on each side. So I had to pull it out. Um, starting it was actually very difficult. I ended up having to uh, attach one of my larger ratchets and uns and really get some wrist into it and uh, get it unscrewed. Um, but as it became unscrewed, I was able to uh, get it moving a lot easier. Uh, what I think I might do, because I don't believe it's exactly 55 pounds, I think I may have either a little too much or a little less. So what I'm thinking I might end up having to do is tighten it back down and then loosen it up, counting it off. Um, I did start off originally with it set to 29 inch draw length. However, with my, my length of arms and my size, I actually pushed it out to 31 inches. However, being new with a bow, I wasn't, uh, I don't have the, uh, the basics down and I don't have the draw strength to pull it straight out. So I ended up having to just uh, start off with it shorter and start off with it lighter. And hopefully I can build up the strength. Now it being winter right now and it being a little cold outside, the range down the street, it's not so easy to go in shooting. So I'm thinking I may start over again next year and really start trying to pick it up because eventually I would like to go hunting. Maybe not with this bow. You guys might be able to tell me down in the, uh, in the uh, comments below you know, is this bow, I mean, do any of you guys know this bow? Is it good for hunting? Would it be something I could use for hunting? I don't know. I, I honestly don't know if it would be enough. Uh, I would think so. I mean, it does, it is capable of sending the arrow at about 270 feet per second, um, according to what the website says. And, um, and I believe that is at 70 pounds. So I, I would have to uh, build up my strength and my ability on it. Uh, obviously, I wanna be able to build up my ability for aim as well. Uh, right now, I have it only sighted in to about 25 yards. Uh, 25 yards is about as comfortable as I feel where I can actually hit the target. Uh, I am not very uh, accurate with it yet. Uh, my wife is actually very accurate with hers and this is actually her bow. <laughs> this is actually one of her bows. She had purchased this one uh, some time ago and uh, we're, we're probably going to do some upgrading on that for her. Um, is there any suggestions that you guys could give me on uh, ways of training with it. Is it just repetitive? Is it just muscle memory? Or is it certain, um, certain uh, tests you can do like for yourself to, uh, to determine how, how to aim? Uh, is there any pointers on aiming that you guys can give me as opposed to rifle sh and pistol shooting, which I'm very familiar with those. Uh, this seems to be kind of backwards when you're aiming. It's almost like you're aiming uh, a, when you're making your adjustments. They're almost like they're backwards, or at least your sights seem to be backwards from a rifle. Uh, am I accurate on that? I'm not very good with this yet, so please let me know. Fill me in on what you guys know about this. Um, with the bow, though, I did actually pick up some inexpensive arrows. and. 
this is being held together with this a wish.com uh, holder uh, the arrows are actually 31 inch arrows for me um, they're I, I don't know anything about them I figured they would be something to start off with just to get my basics uh, I do need to get my basics down before I uh, really start working on the accuracy part I think um, but tell me what you think have you guys tried any of the SAS uh, bows if you have what was your experience with them mine so far has been this seems pretty good uh, I haven't had any problems with it it was the only difficulty I had was adjusting the weight but that might be normal um, I, I have shot it a few times um, I did go a couple of days and uh, shoot it a few times I know that's not going to give me the ability or the ability I want to have with it um, but uh, I did enjoy it I did have uh, some fun doing it my kids are getting into it now um, so let me know what you think uh, the link if you're interested in the bow I did find this on Amazon there's links down inside the uh, description uh, I'll go ahead and link to where I got the arrows from too let me know what you guys think of those if they're any good um, obviously they're probably not going to be hunting quality bow uh, arrows but for target and practice let me know what you think they were pretty inexpensive uh, but they seem pretty solid and they actually are pretty standard across them if you check them each they're all very straight they're all very pretty much the same thing uh, and I, I consistency I think was really more of what I was going for um, but let me know what you think go ahead and follow the links these are associate links for Amazon just to let you know uh, it's something new I'm trying to uh, to try to get some revenue for the uh, channel and try to get in more stuff that I can review for you guys um, and maybe get a little more into this let me uh, go ahead and follow those links have a look check it out it, you, you don't have to buy anything it doesn't cost you anything it's just a matter of if you do purchase what you click to or anything else after you click through that link then the channel does get a little something in return uh, it doesn't cost you anything it doesn't cost the seller anything this is just an advertising revenue that the uh, that Amazon offers uh, a few of the links have already re re been clicked so I can see when they're clicked I don't see any information after that so just to let you know in advance I want to make sure I'm up front with all this stuff but leave a comment below let me know what you think about the bow uh, once again it's the SAS Rage uh, this is the 55 to 70 pound adjustable uh, and um, I think it's pretty good I don't know if it's going to be hunter good but anyway let me know what you think this is Pagan Shooter and we'll see you next time